What's going on guys? Welcome back to Car Drift Racing. Today we have another brand new 20 minute tune challenge, this time for the S15 on the brand new 2.11 update. Now this time around we also have a catch. I'm not allowed any lower than 50 Ackerman. You guys know the drill, there's gonna be 20 minutes on the clock. We're gonna start with a completely stock S15 and it's gonna be our job to in that 20 minutes turn it from stock to something that looks and drives like a typical NTNS tune. As always guys, if you do enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like down below, subscribe for more Car content just like this, and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. All right, guys, here we go. We got a stock S15. We got 20 minutes on the clock. First things first, we're going to throw ultimate on here. Then we're going to head into body kits. We're going to choose one. I think there's a wide body that I haven't ran yet that I'm going to try and find. It's not the rocket bunny. I really like the pro flow kit. All right, we're going to go with pro flow kit because I don't want to spend too much time on looks. I really want to tune this to drive well. Kind of dig those headlights. You know what? First, we're going to do paint because I know what color I want. We're just going to do the body color first. We're going to go to gloss. We're going to do kind of like what we did on the 240. It's like two orange. We're going to go a little more yellow with it. Ooh, that is, that's actually pretty dope. Uh, pull the saturation back just a little bit. It's not super harsh on your eyes. And there's our Pikachu school bus yellow. That's sweet. Uh, we're going to leave the wheels for now. Go back into body kits. Keep working on this. I like the front bumper a lot. I can't imagine we're going to change that. Hood, what do we got? Honestly, I like the hood a lot too. Ooh, that's sweet though. That's sweet. Honestly, I might have to go to the one with the pins, the one on the end there. Yeah, it's pretty aggressive. Oh, let's do it. We're going to leave it. I like these mirrors. The Gandys are cool. Actually, I like the Gandys better. A little bit more of that body color. Uh, street cars, no cage usually. What do we got for trunks? The difference here, just a little spoiler. I like the keyhole. Makes it feel more real. Um, bash bar, I think I'm going to leave the bumper on. Spoiler, what do we got? Probably something cleaner than these. Either wingless or the S15, like OEM wing. Uh, I don't think I've done one with the OEM wing, but I don't love how it looks from behind. We're going to go wingless. You can't, oh dude, you can't go wrong with wingless on an S15. All right, what do we got here for taillights? I honestly like the OEM ones a lot. Hard choice. Do I like the clears or the OEMs? I like the OEMs a lot with this color scheme. We're going to go with the OEMs. Uh, let's see, exhaust here, tip. Honestly, that's like fine. Can't really even see with the contrast. So um, we'll go with the titanium tip. Uh, kind of hard to see our seats. Looks like I left our uh, our tint on. Whoops. So I guess it wasn't completely stock. Oh, on sub NTNS, he cheated. He left the window tint on. All right, I like the steering wheel with the yellow for this car. We're not going to do a handbrake shifter or anything. Try and leave it a little bit more street-ish. Let's see. Wheels. I guess I always go to... Ooh, you know what? Yup. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Okay. Um, all right. That's our looks pretty much done. That looks beautiful and I'm happy with it. So let's get into how it drives. We're going to lay a base map down here. Height actually doesn't look too bad. What do we got for wheels? Can we run a 19? Should we run a 19 is the question. I'm going to say... What do we got for profile? 30. All right, we're going to go to a 19 with a 25. And then tire width, we're going to run a 255. Engine, let's see what we can do for power here. Probably want something like 770-ish. What does it do max? About 790? Jeez. Not a lot of power out of the S15 at the moment. Let's see, we'll move max torque down a bit. Get it a little more linear. Yeah, 775. We're going to leave it there for now and see how it does. Um, sequential, I guess I'll leave on. Diff locking ratio, that's actually pretty close to what I normally run, 75. Uh, I'm going to leave the gears until I drive it, see how they feel. Brake torque, we're going to lower somewhere around 1200, should do it. Bias, 85. ABS, no. Launch control, no. Okay. Um, those are usually yes, but I did reset this. Weird. Um, no, some of these aren't reset. Why is this all 90, dude? I guess some of the settings got left from my old tune, so I, it's all right. Well, we're going to change it all anyway, so we're just going to keep going. Um, actually, you know what? I think I want a little more rear tire pressure. It's going to be a street tune. Let's see. Track looks pretty beefy, honestly. Yeah, I should have known by the stance. I reset the ultimate, though. I don't know why I did that. That is strange. We're going to have to check for uh, clearance issues there while we're driving. And suspension. Let's see. I think we can go somewhere around there is a good height, I think. Um, stiffness. This is way too soft for my liking. We're going to go to 98. 80, which actually probably buys us another inch of height. And then these are going to go... I feel like they added a lot more stiffness settings, but we're going to tune this. We're going to start the way that we normally would have on the old uh, physics system. We go to 90 and 80 with all these. I'm using my mouse to save time. Packs, bro. Packs. Damper bump, the same thing. And then damper rebound, too. Oops. Here we go. And then front toe all the way out. That hasn't changed. Uh, rear toe, we're going to go in a little bit. That usually doesn't change either. Camber can come way in. Um, we're going to leave the rear probably close to that. That looks fine. Rolls are going to go zero both ways. Caster, we're going to bring up. We're going to go, you know what? We're going to go max caster on this one. And I'm not allowed any less than 50, but I'm going to try 50. We're going to go max steering angle as always. And I think we're 
super ready for a test drive. So let's see how it drives. All right, how are we doing for time? We got 13, 18, not bad, not bad. Okay, we're not even halfway done, we're on a test drive. That's pretty good. This sounds different than it used to. The gears actually feel really good too. Yeah, the, actually that makes sense. If these are my comp gears, damn. I might have stolen the gears from my comp build. Damn, it feels really good though. Hmm. Well, the gears are perfect because they're from my comp tune. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do that. That's not the challenge, Carl. We'll change him. We'll change him. It is higher power than the comp was, so just uh, getting a feel for the car now. Though it feels really good, like super smooth. Pretty much exactly. What I, I just need a little more rotation there. Like that understeer is annoying, so we'll probably stiffen up the rear just a little bit. Look at our tire pressures. Maybe take some camber out of it. Let me get a little bit more driving in before I make any uh, rash, decision, rash decisions, though, because sometimes you just gotta get used to it. And this is not what I'm used to driving, right? Like, usually I'm driving my my low Ackerman boys. So this, uh, this definitely feels different, but I'm finding ways to get that rotation out of it, and you guys can see, this is super smooth. This is my first lap in this car. So, yeah, okay, we're gonna need to change the gearing because I'm like, I'm maxing sixth anyway. So we are gonna change our gears around just a little bit. Um, we're going to bring our final drive out to, we're gonna, we're gonna shorten it just a little bit. Yeah, so we'll do 3.25 on our final drive, gear one. I don't think it's fair to use the ones from my comp tune. I just, that's not the, that's not the video. That's not what we're doing here, you know? And 110, this is gonna need to be changed, but we'll, we'll iron it out as we go. First gear testing, it's good with a clutch. Can it roll from a stop? It cannot. So automatic guys fuss at me if I leave it like that. So, <laughs> we're gonna go back just a little more. Oh, that's final, damn it. I'm so used to the old, uh, like the sequential, <laughs> like they added sequential and everything's one over. Messing me up, dude. All right, let's, uh, let's shorten this just a little more. Try that. There we go, now it'll, now it'll boogie from the stop. Alright, first and second, third, not bad. Fourth, third and fourth need to be longer. Second probably could be two. Go to 70, 30, one even, 90, 85. And basically what I'm trying to do here is just like, make the transition from every gear to the next feel smooth, right? Like four kind of bogged there. So I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter to go through the gear. So see how gear three is 1.3? I'm gonna make gear four a closer value to 1.3, which means it's gonna be a closer gear size to what gear three is. Um, so we're gonna go like halfway and try that. So look, like first to second, I'm staying in the power band, like maybe too much. Like third only drops like to seven. So I think what I want is my RPMs from gear to gear to be in like around the six, six and a half-ish range. So right there, first to second was up near seven, which is fine. Let's see what the third gear switch is gonna look like. About halfway, that's fine. Fourth is fine. I'm not looking where I'm going though, I'm looking at the tack now because I'm doing gears. Oops! What do I got for time? Eight minutes? Ooh -wee. We gotta test this on some other tracks too. But okay, third feels good. Third's great. Fourth feels great now, that's what we need. Okay. Yeah, it feels way better now. I just want to create a little bit more rotation off the back wheels. Just a little bit more, I think. Maybe? Maybe not. I'm not gonna lie, this... This tune's fire, holy cow. This is maybe the best yet, guys. We didn't have this much caster to play with before, so I don't think this was even possible before, but this car is driving really really well holy cow man all right we're gonna take this to a couple different tracks now just make sure that it gets around okay make sure sixth isn't uh isn't capping us out around like east and uh, i think we're gonna be in a pretty good spot here guys man this this feels great let's see is fifth too long yeah fifth's a little too long i'm glad we caught that before we went out that's okay that's why we tune let's see what's the jump so gear three jumps 15 down to gear four so i want another 15 so we're gonna raise this by 10. And then this one will do 10. So as the gears go up, like, you can jump 15 from gear three to gear four, and you can jump 15 again, or you can jump down like 10. You know what I mean? Like you wanna jump smaller increments as you go up in gears. So that will make sense to you guys the more tunes you do. But we got two 15s and then a 10 for a drop between our gears now, and that should be pretty good. Fifth actually can be just a tiny bit shorter. Yeah, I want it to pick up. I want sixth to kind of bounce. I don't want fifth to do that. Um, let's see, let's see. We'll go to 105 and 95. Let's try that. So that's two tens at the end now. All right, let's, um, let's see. We got fourth feeling good. We're testing fifth. Yeah, that's what I want. There's the climb. 
It's the climb. Yeah, this feels this feels great. Let's see what we can do here, boys. Let's go to uh, let's go to east. Let's go to east. What do I got for time? Five minutes. Holy cow. Holy cow. All right. So we only have time for like a couple quick changes if we go to east right now. So I uh, got to make this quick. Got to make this quick. Now, I just want to make sure that six isn't banging red line around the street course around here. It shouldn't be. I think this will be pretty, uh, pretty good. Damn. Let's go. Here we go. First east toge run in the 20 minute S15. About to kill it. I can feel it. Wow, it's so smooth, dude. Let's go. I love these new physics, man. 2.11, absolutely stellar. Oh, it's so much fun. It really, I think it breathed new life in the game for me. Dude, this thing's so smooth. Honestly, it's slow. That's the only thing. But I mean, it's 90 adhesion, you know? It's not about the speed. I just kind of want to leave it, man. This is such a chill, smooth street tandem car. Once again, guys, throwing together some heat in just 20 minutes. We're running the dirt line a little bit, that's okay. Went a little little wide. I'm still getting used to the caster and the uh, and the Ackerman, right? Like I'm used to being so aggressive on the wheel, or on the, the left stick even. But it's hard to it's hard to break those habits driving the higher Ackerman tune around. And so I gotta be careful. But honestly, dude, it feels really good. I'm excited to drive this on stream today and uh, try and get used to it a little bit because I do think that for me, like, I think my skill level is definitely at a place where I can drive higher Ackerman tunes and, and hang, so I'm excited to do that for a change today for sure. Oh man, almost into the wall. Not quite. Almost though. Alright, so it feels great on East. No topping out to be topped out. Let's see how it feels on end ring, because I really enjoy end ring too, and I want to see how it does around the outside of the map out there. Um, so honestly, guys, first impressions, it feels amazing. It's just a little slow. So if we have to bump up the power in the final drive just a little bit, we can. But uh, what do I got? 330. All right, let's test it at end ring. Oh, well, we got to kick it into overdrive now. 330. We're going to test it at end ring. If it's still feeling kind of slow around here, um, we can we can toss some power at it. Oh, no, is this swapped? Oh, it's stock. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, I have been known to do that from time to time, so. Alright, should we throw the big backy? We'll do that after. We'll come around. Alright, let's see how it feels out here. My frame rates are up. That's okay. Here we go. 20 minute S15 end ring test. It's smooth, man. It's real smooth. I don't want to throw any power at it, dude. Like, I just want to drive it like this. It's so much fun, dude. Damn. We'll try and throw some big backies. I don't know how to backy with low or high Ackerman. So forgive me if I mess one up, like, right off the bat. We'll give it a shot, though. Yeah, dude, this tune, man. 20-minute S15. Let's go, boys. Oh, my God, dude. Got to get down into second through there. Dude, this thing feels amazing. Holy cow, man. Let's go. Amazing, dude. It's so good, bro. I, I got to tell you guys, I think these 20-minute tunes are better than the ones I take hours, hours working on. I think I overtune them. My 20 minute tune challenges force me to make good decisions quickly. Oh, I just drove it off the side of the road, damn it. But most of the time, this thing is, it goes exactly where you need it to, man. It's unbelievable. Oh no, off the side of the road again. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I gotta hit that line again. What do I got for time, 136? I think we're gonna leave the tune and just have some fun out here on end ring, boys. We gotta hit a clean corner through here. There we go, much better, much better. The tune's all set, man. There's not much I want to change. I can throw a little bit of power at it, maybe. But I think we're good, man. I think we're good. Let's throw the big backy here, see what it does. Wish me luck, boys. I'm probably going to go around, but we're going to try it. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, I got to get used to it, but did you see how long it held that angle? That was absurd. Let's go. That was dope. Oh, man. I can't wait to get used to this car, bro. I'm, like, super looking forward to stream today. By the way, guys, there's going to be a link in the description down below if you're looking to come drive with us on Twitch. But, dude, this thing's just so capable, man. I love these physics, and I love the adjustment to caster, being able to go up to 15. We got 30 seconds left. I'm going to finish out this lap, and then I'm going to give you guys this tune so you can try it out for yourself. I got to stop looking away. I got to keep my eyes on the road. New tune here. There we go. There we go. Kind of getting the hang of the, the higher Ackerman backies. What do we got for time? Seven, six, five, four. 
All right, let's head out to the dino stand. Whoa! All right, guys, so obviously it wouldn't be an NTNS tune challenge if I didn't give you the tune at the end of the video. So first we got our body kit and wheels. We are running the Pro Flow body kit on this car. And for wheels, we got number two in the D-Spec category. Heading into the dino stand, guys, we got our spring links at eight and 10. We got our stiffness at 90 and 80. Fast bump at 34, 730 and 32, 160. Fast rebound at 34, 760 and 31, 660. Damper bump at 34, 880 and 31, 010. And damper rebound at 35, 510 and 31, 740. Toes at 0.97 and negative 0.15. Cameras at negative 5.98 and negative 0.44. Zero roll bars, 15 for our caster, 50 Ackerman and max steering angle as always. For wheels, we got 19s with 255s. We got our tire pressures at 120 and 125. We got our adhesion 90 both ways. Track is nine, base is two and 25 for a tire profile on this one. For engine, we got our tune at 5%, max torque at 5151, rev limber all the way up, turbocharger yes, and air pressure at 2.0. Transmission, we got our sequential on, diff at 0.75, final drive at 3.25, gear one at 2.6, gear two at 1.7, gear three at 1.3, gear four at 1.15, gear five at 1.05, and gear six at 0.95. For brakes, we got a torque at 1210, bias at 85%, no ABS, no launch control, and we are running that ultimate setup as always. So guys, if you do enjoy the tune or the video, feel free to leave a like down below, subscribe for more car content just like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.